Good afternoon everybody, how are you doing? It's wee Paddy from Across the Shock and I have a uh, an amazing video for you today. You've seen by the title um, what the knife is and where it comes from and you know be before I start this little video and this is just a first look at it and it's going to be a quick first look because I want to spend the time getting to know this knife and then doing a, a long full review of it in the next week or so. So this jumped ahead of everything I've got and that will become quite apparent why. Firstly, I would like to thank Polish Custom Knives, a European company uh, that promotes uh, a lot of European knives and a lot of Polish custom makers um, from all around Europe. And uh, this is the second knife they sent me. They sent me the Sting, which is the bigger brother of this knife, uh, a couple of years ago. And I had the joy of using and showing it to everybody. And it was a beautiful knife. But I think even when I got it then, it was above my pay grade. This next knife is way above my pay grade. But it's mine. Polish Custom Knife sent this to me. I'm, I find this amazing. You know, I, I'm not a big, big channel like, you know, Nick Shabazz or uh, Metal Complex. And they're the two other people that I know that have been given these knives to review. Um, and obviously there's more, but that's the two that I sort of know that mainly do it, that are in the, the public eye. So to get it in my wee channel um, is just, I, I can't give enough credits to Polish Custom Knives for putting their, putting their knife where their mouth is. I mean, they, they you know, they, it's such a beautiful knife. And the only way that most of people, you know, are, are going to have to save quite a long time to get this knife, if it's what you want. Personally, it is just, wait till you see it. Anyway, let's just get started. What do you get when you buy a knife from Polish Custom Knives from one of the makers on his books? This one happens to be Barstow Herman. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that first name right, but Herman Knives, we all know of. He's an incredible CNC maker, uh, one-man show, just an amazing, amazing knife maker. And puts it, if you're on Instagram or you're on YouTube, you'll have seen his knives comes on so often and they're just they're eye candy for the for anybody to, to look at so what do you get when you get a Polish custom knife first of all you get this lovely pouch and then you will get I'm gonna I'll set that there for the meantime what you also get is a certificate of authenticity for the knife that you're gonna see this is the Herman knife this is the micro sting it's a 61 HRC Three millimeter, and I'm gonna to have to get that Fafnir Doma steel, or yeah, Doma steel. It's just well, let's just get on with it. The uh, you've also got a uh, Timascus insert on the uh, knife cover, and the Timascus backspacer, and all the Timascus is or titanium is all grade five, and this one was made in the nineteenth of the sixth. 2023 so right up to date on what herman is producing uh, you can see that little uh this little thing here just to prove it's real then you'll get a polish custom knives and it's just a, a how to look after your knife and the one thing that i will say straight away with this knife it's got uh they're not cage bearings they're free so what they kindly do is they give you i don't know why yeah you'll see them there's three there but there's another three somewhere you get six bearings just in case you were to take this apart and lose one you also get a 20 um a torx 20 to open the blade but you you'll see inside the blade you also get a custom made uh opener that i'll show you when we get in there so really nice to get that in there but the one thing they'll say in that little booklet is if you don't have to don't take the knife apart and i know that's a lot of the higher end makers say that but I haven't taken the last one apart and the faff and I took to get all those bearings in, I just wouldn't recommend it. And I don't think this is the sort of knife that you're going to do mucky tasks with. Blow it out, wash it out by all means, but I wouldn't take it apart if you don't have to because it's set up the way Herman wanted this knife to be set up. I'm saying Herman, that's, that's just the, the, the company, his company name Herman. Bartos, I, I'll, I'll never get right saying it. 
but maybe he'll come in and say I've got it right. So whenever, whenever Bartos sets it up, it's an individual knife set up for that knife. Much like a Jack Wolf knife, they don't recommend taking But there's reasons for saying that, not just they want to hide anything. And Bartos definitely doesn't say don't take it apart. And if you have to, you have, but just be very careful. Or get somebody who you know who's more capable than yourself if you don't feel secure in doing it. So let's just get on with it. So here is the knife. I'm going to replace it. This is the way, well, first of all, the knife comes in this pouch, wrapped up in this pouch. It's a single pouch, lovely furry pouch for one knife, and you'll only ever put one knife in this. Uh, did I show you that nice furry pouch? Uh, this comes, and your knife is wrapped in here. But, but, you, the knife that you're going to, when you're going to present your knife, you present it in this. Look at that. Is that not just beautiful? I think this is oak, to be honest with you. Um, there's a little bit, a couple of little blonde bits in it. But, and the weight of this, this is solid oak. Just beautiful. And there's his Herman knives on the front of it there. Let's just get into it. Now, the hinges, if you see the back of that, you'll not see a hinge, but the hinges are inbuilt hinges. They are, I can open it like that, it'll stay there. Like there, it'll stay the whole way back. Look at these hinges. They're absolutely stunning. And this knife is cut out to fit in here. That's the little takedown tool that they give you with the knife. And, <laughs> come on, just look at that knife. Does that not just look like an angel's wing? I just really do believe. Sorry, my mouth's gone dry. I'm not excited. To me, in my little head, that is an angel's wing. Look at the milling on that. Let's just take it out and we'll bring it up close and let you have a quick look at this. We'll set that up there. Now, look at that. There's the time mask is there and it's on the back spacer as well. It's a bit darker on the back spacer and hard to show you, but you can see it's on that back spacer. How beautiful is that? There's the, the custom pivot, but you can take it apart with it. It's custom, but you can take it apart with the Torx. Or the little tool that I just showed you. There's the flipper tab. Tiny and insignificant. You don't really notice it even in, in the run of things. With the time mask it there, it seems to just drift away. I don't notice it. It doesn't affect putting it in the pocket whatsoever. It just doesn't. Um, but look at the milling on that. Now, these screw heads here. And yes, they are screw heads. This is where it's screwed in from the back side. There's also one up here. They are domed and polished when they come out. It's just beyond. Uh, and this, you, you'll not see a gap around this whatsoever. It is so beautifully done. You're going to hear my dogs going mad now, sorry. There's somebody at the door. Look at the pocket clip. And that milling just goes right across the whole back of the knife. This milling is just stunning. It has fantastic retention. Because it's long and thin, it's titanium. And sometimes titanium can be a bit... Harsh dead to pull back. This, because of the length, it is perfect. And in pocket, it just looks amazing and feels amazing. So secure. There's the blade centering on this. <laughs> you know, the, when I tell you the price, you would expect nothing left, and that is nothing less. This is the, everything about this knife. There's no hard edges whatsoever, and this is a. a a liner lock, which I think is perfect for a knife. I've got more and more into liner locks. The, the more I've gone up knives, uh, liner locks are just fantastic uh, compared to the, the back lock. Or not the back lock, the uh, Chris Reeve Integral lock, as it's rightly called. So there it is. Now, just want you to listen to this. Oh, <laughs> it's just beautiful. But here's the nicest part about this knife. It's drop shot straight from the action. Now, it's not a loose drop shot. You can just little listen to that. I want you to hear that wee ting. It is such a lovely ting. Listen to this, the way it locks up. Ah, oh, that is just perfection. Absolute perfection. But look at this blade. Look at that. That's the uh, Fermier Doma steel. Look at that. It has a mirror polished, razor sharp edge. It's thin behind the edge, so you haven't got much of a, it's really hard to, see. oh, there you go. It's mirror polished, straight from the maker. Let me just get this turned around. You can see it on both sides. 
It is perfectly done. Lovely little choil in there. But the the Timascus just really sets that apart. Look at that blade. Isn't that, that's fine. That, the light couldn't catch that any better. And listen, it is actually raised as well. It is just beautiful. I'm going to find out much more about this and I'll explain that when we get to the main video. But look how, look, even the backspace, look at it comes to that little point. This is all down below the handle. So it's for nobody else than just aesthetic. And when you're going around every part of it, it's just aesthetically beautiful. There is a little bit, let me just see if I can show Yeah, there's a little bit of weight relieving in, but not very much. And this does not weigh very much at all. Um, shall we get you the weighing scales right for this one? I think we will. Excuse me a second while I do something I should have had ready. Now, let's just see what this is. Let's set that to the side. So you've got a three millimeter blade stock. And let's just see what this is. 2.8. That's just fantastic. Now, this is a four inch closed and I would suggest that it will be, let me again just get something I should have had out. The blade length is, the cutting edge is two and seven eighths basically. So this is not a big knife at all, but it is a perfectly comfortable EDC size. Perfectly comfortable. I just, I could look at that all day. In fact, for three days I have been looking at this. It's just unbelievable. It's just beautiful. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So I'm going to show you some comparisons of knives that I have. Just so that you can get a look at it. Here is one of my favourite little knives which is the Ganzo 739M, which is about the same size as a Spyderco Delica. That is just a little bit bigger than that. Just a little bit bigger. Here is the Benchmade Bugout. Again, just a little bit bigger. Here is the Wii uh, Elementum. So a lot of you will have the Elementum, and it is about the same size. There's not much difference between the Elementum and it. Uh, this is the posh version, the wee titanium version. And here is my, or was my, complete uh, high-end knife that I just, is just, I think is just amazing. There you go. There is the Chris Reeve Knives Small 31. Uh, and it's exactly the same size blade length. And very, you know, even the blade shape is not dissimilar. This is more... I think this is nearly more of a clip and this is a drop point, but no, that's a straight drop point. But there, there's not much difference between them. A pokier tip on this um, and the blade steel is about exactly the same. So I'm going to get that up there. So there you go. They are just two perfectly. So very apt that my two favourite knives are exactly the same size. And, and I think it's simply because these this size of a knife is my optimal use i can get all my fingers i have a large hand it's not an over large but it's a large hand nonetheless and i can get the back hand of my finger or the back finger just goes at the bottom of this cuddles in lovely this little this is all rounded off in underneath here this just makes it so comfortable some nice when you put your your finger up against the flipper tab when it comes through it can be uncomfortable and sharp again this is not, this is perfect. I could work all day. There's not a hot spot. That clip, I was even looking for what side it was on. I don't feel it in my hand at all. There's not many clips you can say that. I do not feel it in my hand. So the fit and finish, the, the get through, look at that gap to get through and a lovely chamfer on your, your liner lock there. So easy to disengage. And then, oh, it's just beautiful. And I, look, these are brand new bearings. I believe that within a few weeks, I don't muck with a knife. You know, it will... Oh, look at it. It's just, just... It's just... Comes straight out with no effort whatsoever. It comes flying out. Once you break that detent, it is out. There's a knife straight up. It's just super, super. So, the one thing that's going to be the scary thing about this is 
there's not, uh, maybe not a lot of us out there who would have the money to buy this. But I have enough people, which I'm really grateful for. I have such a wide variety of, of people in my subscribers. And I have enough people now that I believe that I have, you know, people who will quite happily, this is a, a, a price bracket, they're not quite happily, but they would pay this for a knife. And I'm doing it to show you. I do an awful lot of budget knives. I do an awful lot of medium price rise knives. And I do the higher end knives. I don't have many higher end knives. I mean, that's my two really high end knives there, um, which I absolutely adore. Absolutely adore these two. But this one, straight to the top of the tree. Don't even, it's not even an argument. Straight to the top of the tree. So I'm going to give you a shock. If, they, if you're not, you know, if you don't follow, I follow Herman because I've had one. And I always watch his uh, YouTube videos on his new knives. To get this in the UK at the moment is about £1,350 or in US dollars about $1,700. And yes, I hear the gasp and I hear all the, the negative sayings, but, you know, is life fair? No, it's not fair. Can you achieve something? Can you set a goal to get something and get it? Yes, you can. And even if you're in that medium price range you can achieve it by just not buying knives for so many months once you get to the limit where you've bought enough of the medium range knives that you're going to spend on see if if that's what you want if you want this within a year you could maybe save for this um i i is it worth it i have no idea how much it's worth it would i have the i personally would i have the patience to save up no i just and i'm just being honest i wouldn't have that patience but is it worth it to me, as a piece of art, this is not a knife that you're going to take out and put through stone, you know, put through any hard, rough material to scratch it up. It's not what it is. You're buying it. It's like going in and seeing a painting you want for your front room. And that's it. You'll save up to get that painting. That's what this is. This is a piece of knife art. Now, it's been given to me. So I will use it. I will use it to shred cardboard. I'll use it to cut on wood. But I'll show you doing that. When I had the sting, I cut up carpet. I cut up all sorts with it. Because it was given to me. And it's it's your only duty to be given it. Is not to baby it. Not to just keep it aside so that it can be um, you know, passed on. I want to use this. As much as I... And I use this all the time. Love this knife to use. This is, you know, three times the price of it. But I will use it. So I can't wait to do the review. I really want to find much more about the 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 blade, the Doma steel, find out more about it. I don't know anything about it. Damascus, most of us all know. It's just titanium that's been coloured uh, through heat. Um, the milling is... Look, this is his trade. He, he's, you know... He is a master at this. He has become a, a world-renowned knife maker. Uh, and rightly so by this sort of a quality. So... I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you'll look forward to the review and not maybe have that thought, oh, what a stupid day, Paddy. I couldn't afford that. Why would I want to see it? I want to see it. I want to see them all. I love watching. I've said it over and over again. I love watching channels that have higher end knives because it's something. This is art. And if you like cutlery, cutlery can be just art. And this is it. Uh, and Barstoff, or Barstoff, Bartos is just an expert at it. Just an expert at us. So once again, I just got to thank Polish Custom Knives, an amazing company who stands by their makers, who sends out knives to reviewers, and not just the Nick Shabazz of this world. We Paddy's got about 12,000 subs. Look what they sent me. I mean, that hats off to them completely. Hats off to Herman for making this knife. And put, he has to make this, and he's getting nothing for it. Do you know what I mean? Well, I hope he's going to get more than nothing because I do know of subscribers out there who like this sort of thing and who would buy this knife. Hopefully when they see the full review, they'll they'll see the value in this knife for them. Thank you so much. This was a bit of a serious review and it had to be because it's a very, very, very expensive knife, but a very, very beautiful knife that I have the honour now to have in my possession and on my channel. And uh, anytime you want to see it, just ask me. And don't you worry, I'll be bringing it out in all my knife comparisons for the near future, if not my whole life. It is stunning. I hope you've enjoyed seeing it. And please look forward to the review because it is just a, a stunning piece.
All right, take care, folks. All the, all the very best. Paddy's away. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, Custom Polish. Custom Cut. <laughs> it's gone now. Polish Custom Knives. Thank you so much.